You may have seen them before, giant waves crashing over the seawall in Vancouver. They're known as king tides. These are times of the year when we get the tides being exceptionally high. The scientific name is actually spring tide, which is a little confusing because it has nothing to do with the spring season. But it is named after a German word for high energy or springing forward. The months that we actually see the king tides are the winter and summer, but they're usually only talked about in the winter. In the summer, our winds generally come from the north, whereas in the winter, they come from the south. And south winds cause the water to get higher. But what exactly causes king tides? Well, the answer is actually out of this world. So tides are due to the gravitational attraction of the moon and the sun, and also all how the orbits work and the tilting of everything. And so there's a whole bunch of frequencies are generated. And so you get a whole bunch of waves, and then they superimpose on each other. And so sometimes you get extra high tides. And sometimes in the winter, king tides line up a storm surge and strong winds that create the perfect storm. If you put all three on top of that, that's when we see the damage to local infrastructure. Back in 2021 and 2022, we saw all three combine together and cause serious damage to the Kitsilano pool and parts of the seawall. These king tides are also an important tool for predicting the future. The areas that we see flooding during these high tide events are areas experts believe will be impacted by future climate change and sea level rise. And so they can start coming up with plans to protect these areas now.